Guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft episode. We're back here in the world, and I'm just here to give you guys an update of what's been going on here. Here's the armor collection, you know, still don't have the boots. Started netherite, though. And then there's this one with the template and all that stuff. You guys know, you've probably seen it before, I don't remember where we last left off on the world. But this is what we got so far. Rex still alive, yep. This is the house. You know, I'm going to go around and show you guys everyone's houses and all, everything, you know. So, here's this. You guys know my house. You probably see it the most. Alright, let's go ahead and start at the top of the hill here. Alright, so here is where the, we keep the goat. He's still here. Still has all of his horns, it appears. Trying to get a the, the, um, the horn. You know, yeah. Here's our cobblestone generator. Plenty of cobblestone all the time. <clears throat> okay, Paris. This is our guest house, you know. Eat or sleep, eat, Minecraft, repeat. Yep, this is our guest house. Here's the upstairs area. You know, when we have guest stars, if we ever do, I would love to have some one. If you guys want me to, or want to see me play with someone, put it in the comments below that you would think would be a cool collaboration. I would like to do that. This is Carp's house, of course. He's changed it up a little bit. He got the crimson wood here. He's going to do that for all the, the strips around his house here. Here's his farm. I still think this is inhumane that he keeps them in here like this. And it appears his automatic farm system he has. Yep, you just pull this lever and then the water comes down, puts it down here into this chest. Symbols that is automated uh, sugar cane, yes. They break it off once they get into the side of those blocks up there, and then it goes into that chest there. I believe is how that works. Mm. Alright, let's go into his house now. Here is his house. I thought it was a little bit different than this, but no, this is it. This is Garp's house. This stuff, we're not going to look at everybody's stuff, but this is kind of funny. The boat and his stone spoon. <laughs> um, going up top, nothing here. This is the stored stuff, and that's where he keeps that. That's where he keeps his rocks, his rock collection. <laughs> All of his assortment of rocks here. Yeah, we're not gonna look through everything, but yeah, this is where he keeps all of his stuff. There's that, then we're gonna go, not this elevator, this one. And this is his roof, so it appears he has started on the roof here. And, yeah. Or not the roof, he's gonna make this into another section. I don't know what he's gonna do with it yet, but we will we'll find out eventually. Alright, let's continue the tour. We'll jump into Carp's Pond, and hopefully not die. Ah, and I hit the lily pad. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I? There's a path right off of here to my house, right there. Then you go right here to this other path to our uh, XP farm. The XP farm is uh, generated by... Well, it has a water bucket in there that stops it, so we can actually go through that portal. And it just drops a whole bunch of pigmen down here, and we kill them to get their XP. Simple demonstration right here. They're always like one hit every time they fall down here. You kill them, pick up the XP, sometimes stuff gets stuck back there. You just pick it up, and then yeah, you know, that's it. Or when um, we get a whole bunch of swords and stuff, we take it out of there, we you know, smelt it down, get the, the gold um, nuggets out of it, and then use that to make gold bars or whatever, you know. That's the XP farm. Um, I believe that's all over here. Alright, well, since we've done that all, we're going to move on. Go back around the house here. Well, no, we're going to go down the side here, and we'll I'll show you some other stuff. Here is where the cemetery is going to be, right here. So, like, if a pet dies or anything like that, we're going to put their grave here, and then, yep, put their name down and everything, the time of death and all that stuff. That looks really cool. That is Pear's uh, Castle. That's the lighthouse. That's the museum that we will soon... You know, we're getting there, we're almost done with it, and it will have um, some cool things in there. 
the dock leading down here. We have a new thing down there as well. Um, yeah. Moving back up here, going on the other side of my house again. Don't remember if I showed you guys this. This is my farm. It's very simple. You know, I don't need all that fancy stuff like carp. And here is the farmhouse. I don't know if you guys have seen this or the shack, whatever you want to call it. So I keep the tools and stuff like that. And yeah, it's made out of bamboo. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And yes, we have a donkey, a mule, and a horse. Stanley has made a return. If you guys seen my very my old videos of Minecraft Legends, then you know who Stanley is. And here's my farm. Very, very crappy and simple. But it is what it is, you know, that's what I got. And now we will move to Zeke's house. Zeke has not been on the, the channel in quite some time. Zeke's dwelling. We will go inside of here and yes. The Zeke Habitat. This is Zeke's house. Down here is his uh, cave system, that he, or his tunnel system he has. And then this is his tower. Access to the roof of his tower. Platform here to his main roof, I think. To this roof here, yeah. And then there's this. This is his bedroom. Well, that's... Don't, he has two beds. So he has a guest bed and then a normal... His main bed, I guess. And then here's his farm. And then we're going to go down through here. These steps here. Never hardly ever get used. To the pear castle. Pear always has a creeper that tries to kill him in the daytime. So that's why I'm kind of looking around. Pear has a great, nice looking garden here. Or... I guess you call it a garden of some of some sorts. His chickens with his horse. Don't think it has a name yet. And his donkey. Okay, chickens. He has cows, sheep, and pigs, I believe. Yep. Multiple different types of sheep here. And he has pigs. There's that. We'll go through here. You guys haven't seen his new tower, I don't believe. So we'll climb up the top of this and look at it. He has storage in this level. Nothing in this level would appear. Same with this one, nothing. And nothing in the third level. A oh, bed in the third level, sorry. And then the final level, the top, is the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario references. I don't even know if he knows that this glass pane is broke here. But yeah, this is his tower. Overlooking everything, and it's pretty nice. Pretty good view. You know, you can see my house there, see my dock, see the museum. Kind of see the lighthouse a little bit over there. Uh, you can see Zeke's house. Yeah. Yeah, I can't really see Carp's house, I don't think. Well, we just looked. It doesn't look like you can see it, but, um... Sorry if this makes you guys motion sickness. But this is what it is. Um, yeah, if you guys are new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. We just hit 117 subscribers on the YouTube channel. Please consider subscribing, liking, or if you just like hearing me ramble on, or, you know, whatever. It would be much appreciated, guys. Thank you. Alright, continuing the tour. Here we are with Pear's main li living quarters. He has a cake. Did not know he had a cake here. Hmm. Enticing. And then we got access to his left tower here. This takes you to his left tower right here. And as we go back down, if we can go back down, go back down, please. Can't go back down that way, okay. We'll just go in this way again. There's that, and his main living quarters is up here, I believe. I don't know what that says. Um, Yes, he has full diamond armor and a golden enchanted apple. Blue bed, this is where he sleeps mainly. Special thanks to... Oh yeah, I gave him materials to help out, help him build this place. And this one we know goes right up to his uh, right tower, but down here is where the other stuff he has. This is an enchanting room here. Midnight library is what he calls it. And then his guest room is right here. Nothing special really in here, I don't think. Not just his guest room. He says he'll go do something with this, but I'm not sure what yet. I think he says he'll display armor or something like that there. But yes, that was Pear's place. Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Now, we will move on to his dock. And then move to my dock. Well, you know what? It's getting dark out. We should 
you know, probably take a uh, nap, go to sleep. We'll sleep in pairs, um, guest bed tonight. I mean, why not, you know? It's here, so let's do it. Oh, come on, it's gonna, gotta be nighttime. Gotta be nighttime. Alright. Shut the door out. Okay. But now. There we go. Alright, so once it's daytime again, that we don't have to worry about any mobs or anything like that. But I have to remember, for some reason, creepers like to spawn here. So we ain't gonna go through the front door. We're just gonna go off the tower and go straight to the dock, which is right there. Jump down here, and then here, and then there we go. And move on down. So here is the dock. This is Pear's dock. He has a turtle friend. Don't know what the turtle friend's name is. There's my dock. You guys have seen that dock before, I'm sure. But we're going to swim over there and look at the newest addition to the dock. There's a path here to a cave system right here. Then we have Big Dave right here. He's our villager that we trade with. He has some pretty good things, mainly this book here. I believe it's Mending. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's Dave. It's pretty good. And we'll take a little tour to the museum. Once we get up to the museum, you know, it has nothing in it, any any cool stuff in it yet. I don't know why I didn't take a boat, but I didn't. So we are here at the museum. The museum is pretty cool. I like how I did the multiple level things here. And then there's the pyramid uh, ceiling here. And then, you know, this is going to be full of windows or whatever. There's going to be different ad additions to it later, you know. Still fairly new. Finished it, I think, today with the ceiling anyway. There's no glass or anything like that in yet. And now we'll check out the lighthouse. Don't know if you guys have even seen the lighthouse much of it anyway. I know you've seen it, like, in the distance. Don't think you've actually seen me go into it yet, though. But we'll go into the lighthouse. I call it the lighthouse because it looks like a lighthouse. Chicken. I'm eating this, because I can. Alright, nothing on this level, nothing on this level, and there's a sitting th thing on that level. I should know what's on these levels, I'm the one who designed this, or made this. Well, there's that, and there's a bed, and a furnace up here, and a crafting table. About all that's here. Need to put some, like, glowstone or redstone lamps here to actually make it light up at night, which would look a lot cooler, I think. Maybe we'll do that in a future thing, but... Till then, right now, this is what we got. Alright. So I showed you that. Ah, I remember a place I haven't showed you guys yet, and it's back over here at Pears. This one is a fairly new place that no, not too many people know about. But you guys will see it today. Because we don't ever go out that way much, anyways. I didn't show you guys Pear's garden or anything of that nature, I don't believe either, but he has a lava, like, endless supply of lava here. That's his garden. That's his bamboo. This is his fountain, which I believe has a secret in it, but, you know, in due time we may reveal that secret. To keep you guys guessing. Actually, I'll probably show you it when we come back down. And it's raining. Crafting table right there. And then this is the one that not a whole lot of people know about. This is another house up here. That, this house is named after one of our old villagers from a previous world we did, you know, before we I started doing the YouTube thing with, with it. But, um, yeah, this is about all it has. Nothing really much to it. I mean, I've got some stuff in there, you know. Nothing, nothing really. I don't think anything in the furnace. No. Nope. Not much to it. But, yeah. This is the other house that was constructed here. So, not a whole lot has changed since the last time you guys seen this world. I don't think, anyway. I, again, I don't really remember the last time you saw the world. Was it, like, episode 8 or 7 of Minecraft? Maybe... I don't remember, maybe even longer than that. But, yeah, this is the update of the, the, um, the land so far. I mean, we got some mine shafts, stuff like that, you know. And, um, we're gonna go down here. 
Check out this area. This, I guess, is car. Uh, not car. So the pair is a secret little lair here. He has. Hmm. Not a whole lot of stuff in there. But you know, it's a good thing I know about that, just in case he tries to pull something. No. But um, yeah, we have the mine shaft still here. You know, it's right here. We're yeah, always down there. I'm not going all the way down there, but yeah, this is the mine shaft. We have a couple other ones. You know. Yeah, it was pretty much the full tour of the place. Um, he has a security guard. I forgot to tell you all about that. But yeah, that is that is it. This is the the extent of the the place. It has not much changed much. It has changed a little bit, but it's just going to continue to grow and change as time goes on. And I believe next week, or I hope for next week, we try and kill the warden. Came up with some ideas of how to do that, and I think we might do that. We've had a few raids as well, because of Dave. Big Dave. And, yeah. So, everyone say goodbye to Rex, and, yeah, I will catch you all in the next one. Remember, if you're new around here, please subscribe and like. And, if or if you just like hearing me ramble, consider subscribing, guys. Thanks. And, um, as always... Catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.